Hi everybody, it's Jenny, and today I'm sharing my cards for the new Sweet Wishes release hop from Not Too Shabby. You can follow along with the hop by using the hashtag N2SSweetWishes, as well as enter a giveaway for a $25 gift card to the Not Too Shabby shop, and all you have to do is leave a like and a comment on the videos along the way, and enter using the Rafflecopter link in the description below. So before we get started with the tutorial, we're going to take a quick peek at all the goodies that come in this month's kit. The theme for this month is all about birthdays, starting with this super cute stamp set called Birthday Bear, made up of an adorable little bear image and a bunch of awesome birthday sentiments, and the second set called Sweet Birthday with some awesome birthday treats. Next up is a shaker mix from Trinity Stamps. and a second little coordinating sequin mix. Two six by six double-sided paper pads, as well as two packs of coordinating ephemera. A super cute confetti background stencil. And last but not least, a mini blending brush from the Rabbit Hole Designs. Next, we're gonna take a closer look at all the adorable ephemera pieces and papers that come in this month's kit. So for my cards today, I'm going to be making a tri-fold clear bag shaker card, which was created by I Love Doing All Things Crafty over on Instagram, and I'll go ahead and link her in the description box below. So to get started, I brought in two cellophane slimline bags, a piece of acetate, and my shaker mixes from the kit. And I'm going to cut down my acetate pieces to three and seven eighths by five and a quarter, and I got these measurements based off my cellophane bag, so whatever size card you're going to make, you can just adjust your measurements based on that. So this acetate piece will fit inside the cellophane bag and make up the shaker card front. Because my card front will be three and seven eighths by five and a quarter, I trimmed down my cellophane bag to six and a quarter. That way I have an extra inch at the top of the opening of the bag that I can fold over and close off. Next, I'm just going to fill each of my bags with my sequin mixes. And I also go ahead and bring in some extra sequins from my stash to add a little more sparkle and shine. Now that I have my bags filled, I'm just going to set those aside and use some 80 pound white cardstock to create two top folding card bases. Next, I'm going to trim down two panels that measure three and seven eighths by five and a quarter. Before I start assembling anything, I'm just going to take my two card bases and trim a tiny sliver off the front of each one. Next, I'm going to take my card base and turn it so the fold is at the bottom and the side that I trimmed the little sliver off of is at the top facing me. Then I'm going to line up my cellophane bag with the card base and fold the flap on the bag over the top and create a crease with my nail. Next, I'm going to trim the corners off the top of each bag. Next, I'm going to take my card bases, still with the crease at the bottom, but this time with the side facing me that I didn't trim down, I'm going to add a piece of double-sided tape at the top, as well as the second piece an inch from the top. And I'm going to remove the release paper, flip that over, line up my cellophane bag, and fold over the top. 
Then I'm going to add another piece of double-sided tape to seal off my shaker bag, as well as a piece of scotch tape just to hold down the rest of the flap. Then I'm going to line all the edges with some double-sided tape, remove the release paper, and attach one of those panels that I trimmed down earlier. And then you should have the base for your completed trifold shaker card. And I'm going to go ahead and do that for the second one as well. Now that I have both my bases completed, I'm going to use all the fun goodies from the kit to decorate each of my cards. I'm going to pick out a piece of ephemera for each of the cards and then glue that down to the base so that it holds up the trifold piece so that it doesn't slip and it can be displayed. And that completes my two trifold shaker cards. I think they are super fun to make. I think these ones especially turned out super cute. And once you get the hang of it, they definitely come together really quick. So I see myself doing a bunch more of these in the future. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow along with the hop to enter the giveaway. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.